Hello, this is another episode of Claude Sports Corner. And to be honest, I had contemplated even doing a video for the Super Bowl because you know why? No one really cares. And let me explain why. And I'm not just speaking about myself, even though I really don't care. But a lot of people around this um, good old country of ours, <laughs> I say that facetiously, of course, and I am a proud American, but I'm not proud of what is happening in America and has been happening, but that's another show for another time. But um, people are sick of Tom Brady. They're just sick. I'm sick of him. I know everybody else that's not from the New England area is sick of him. Um, people aren't in love with the Philadelphia Eagles. Let's face it. If Carson Wentz were playing in this game, there would be more of a buzz. And to be quite honest, the fact that it's in Minnesota does not help it either. I mean, it's what, 14 below? I mean, jeez. Oh, yeah, I can't wait to rush out there. I understand they're in a dome. I get it. But you have to get to the dome, okay? I'm not trying to freeze my balls off doing that. And if now, if the Vikings were in the Super Bowl, I think it would be more of a buzz considering that they are the home. They would have the proverbial home field advantage. But I digress. Now, in hand with the fact that Carson Wentz is injured and Nick Foles is a quarterback, no one, no one's getting behind this guy. Let's face it. I mean, Nick Foles is a flash in the pan quarterback. I mean, he, he did okay. He did pretty well, actually, against Minnesota. I have to be fair. That Minnesota defense is great, and he did a number to them. I, I don't know what happened there. But let's also point out the painstaking obvious, okay? We all know that, and, and I'm probably going to get slammed for this, but you know what? I don't care. We know that either the referees, Roger Goodell, Bob Kraft, Belichick, Brady, somebody, they're going to have it slanted in a way where the New England Patriots is going to win this football game. That's why I didn't even bother to give a prediction, but you know what? I will. Because New England always wins these things by like three points. They never win by a big margin. They always win by three points. So, you know what? I, I might as well just give it away now. I, 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 I'm going to give it to the Patriots. I'm going to say 27-24 over the Philadelphia Eagles. I'll, I'll give them 24 points. But they're going to find a way to manufacture. Oh, they had a great run, but New England eked it out at the end. It's all bogus. It's disgusting. And I'm going to give you another reason why I'm not looking. And a lot of individuals are not looking forward to the Super Bowl. Especially like within our community. Look at who is going to be the headliner for the halftime show. One Justin Timberlake. What an absolutely disgraceful human being he is. After what he did with the quote-unquote wardrobe malfunction with Janet Jackson. And I tell you what, if Janet Jackson is stupid enough to go on with this guy. And, and let's face it, Janet Jackson has done absolutely nothing for, for the black community. She's, she's thrown us under the bus so many times, it's disgusting. But I, 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 I just... He's a fraud. He's a phony. I can't stand this man. And if he comes out performing with that Michael Jackson hologram, I mean, my God. What an absolute terrible human being. He's another culture vulture. Can't stand Justin Timberfake. Son of a bitch. But let's face it. People are, are down on, on, on the NFL. I mean, I can't root for either team. I can't. I sure as hell ain't rooting for Tom Brady. And I can't root for Malcolm Jenkins, that son of a bitch, selling out. He and Anquan Bolden, please. I, I've, I've, I'm going to do another video on that at the end of the Super Bowl and why I've, I've basically like sort of washed my hands of the NFL. I understand it's not just the NFL doing this, 
but I'm just so disgusted. But again, I'm going to begrudgingly pick the Patriots. I, I'm, again, I, I just can't root for either team. Uh, I'm just going to have it on because a few people are stopping by. That's about it. But I could care less. No matter who wins, hey, we all lose. Sort of like the uh, presidency last... <laughs> oh, God. And I'll, I'll be doing a video on that clown very shortly. But anyway, I'm picking the Patriots to win. They're going to pull one out of their fanny because he's, he's going to grease the wheels. And I, I know there's going to be a couple of, oh, my God, I can't believe that call. Please give me a break. New England 27, Philadelphia 24. And that is my Super Bowl pick. Um, please like and subscribe, ladies and gentlemen. This is Claude Sports Corner. Take care.